Hey, want some melons? You hungry? Sure. I'm just like going around picking all the foods. This can be turned into juice, by the way. I know the notion of watermelon juice sounds horrible, but it's um... uh, false, actually. No, dude, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I mean, you drink I don't watermelon eat watermelon juice on my own. No, but I would like eat the watermelon. You know, you cut off the end of the watermelon, so you'd eat the butt, and that was the best part because then you could like scoop out the insides and just like slurp out the watermelon juice in the middle. You ate the butt. <sighs> yep. The watermelon butt. So, now that you're <laughs> so around, I'm by far the least productive I've ever been. Um, Sorry. Would you like to build tools, new tools for yourself of any caliber? Um, or sure. let me put it a different way. Is there a task that's tool related that you wish you could do so that we can make I a could goal use to, some better sword. to make you a tool? All I have right now is a wooden okay. sword, which is pretty lame. That is the worst they can get. Good. The worst Boy, thing. are you... Oh. You have... Okay. You have come to the right place at the right time. Sweet. So. I would like to make you armor. I would like to make you weapons and tools. Okay. But you are in luck because... In the process of getting all the materials that I have, all the minerals... I did make a couple of, like, one-time use tools and... Now, there's no sense mm -hmm. in throwing them out, and they're perfectly good tools. Okay. So you can... Okay. I figured you could take one, Daniel could take the other one. They're both... Re it doesn't really much matter which one you pick. Wait, are you wearing your belt right now? Yeah. Am I wearing mine? Can you see it on me? Nope. Oh. I guess you can only see it locally. Nice shirt, though. Hey, thanks. It's different. Yeah, I change it once in a while. Cool, cool. I'll put this stuff back on. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, we want to make you things. Yeah. Cool. Let's make you, um, well, I guess we got to decide what kind of tool you like. First of all, come get your free pick. Okay. Uh, the ones on the um, top corner here are both very good. That one looks cool. Beep. And it's unnamed, so you can name it whatever you like. Okay. I mean, these ones on the bottom are good, too. Prime time, slime time. <laughs> Allie mixed you. Um, additionally, there are two weapons already here. The previous two that I had before I replaced them with my current sword. I've got this unnamed crystal sword. Kind of staring off into space, are you? Sorry, uh, I got distracted. Um, these two on the top row there are old weapons that I had before mm -hmm. I replaced them with my current sword. Prince Poke. <laughs> Shit, shuffle. Yeah, Prince Poke is my javelin. Two. Second, happiest. Then pick. there's a crystal sword that has no name. Okay, so. What's this one? It seems like a bad plan to have a blade that's made out of crystal. Yeah, I've been using that since, like, well, no, it, I've had that since, like, episode four. It's a perfectly good weapon, but we have the ability to make you better ones. But I'm saying that you can get a primary weapon, but then also have a secondary, and rather than make a second one, you can just have one of these as a backup. Whoa. Yeah, it works as a melee, and it works as um, ranged if you right-click it. The downside is it, it runs out of ammo super quickly when you're doing you either version. Hmm. That's... I, I've relied on that one a lot more as melee. Hmm. Eh, that would be an interesting one to have around. <laughs> oh yeah, those brown stripes on the sides, that's the consecrated soil, so it's got extra damage against undead. Hmm, okay. Cool. So, let's make you a primary. Okay. You want a weapon, do ya? Uh, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Alright, come on over here to this silver table. This has got every possible kind of tool you can cast. Oh boy. <laughs> I usually have, go with the broadsword. So I'm used to using that. Um, yeah, so that's medium attack and the right click special ability is block. Yeah, because I, I like I like to be able to block. 
I guess the cleaver can do that too. Natural ability, beheading. Yeah. Oh, check out the one that I have. <laughs> what do you have? Check out, check out the new weapon I made. I just recently made this. Oh, is this it a cleaver? This is the Buster Sword. Yeah, it's a cleaver. <laughs> it's got nice. slow swing rate, but it's got fairly decent attack. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll just stick with the broadsword because it's versatile. No problem, yo. Yeah. They, they all have their ups and downs, and I've like I have yet to try all of them. That's why I tried javelin. That's why I'm trying cleaver. They're new mm, to me, and okay. they're they're great in their own way. Whoa. There's a really there's the moon out. Looks. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like the real moon. Yeah, you never noticed that. Um, it didn't look like that before. Let me have another look. Are you sure? You may not have noticed since we started up this new server. Perhaps. Well, it wasn't in that phase, and also you can see the stars through the unlit half, so that's, you know, astronomically wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm going to go to bed right here on the floor. I suggest you do that, too. Alright. Okay, should be good. Okay. Hey, I think the Lemurite just finished. Hey. Melting up. Now, you just sent shadow iron through this chain mm -hmm. now unfortunately one of the metals we can't triple is gold and gold is really useful for machinery so that's probably why i did you already take the that. shadow iron out i already did <laughs> sorry oh do you want to do you want right. to do the favors do the honors of um yeah putting those on I their will. pedestal how uh i've got a shadow iron pedestal over here yeah right here there's a shadow steel one and there's a lemmy right right across from it I've got heat stroke. I'm so excited. All right. Um, all right. So I need, but I need one of these, right? Or did you keep one? Uh, I popped one in. You kept one for yourself. I popped one. Into I thought the you smelter. meant I was gonna get to junk it in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to pour out the actual thing when it's done? <laughs> all right. Whatever. It's fine. Um, oh, okay. So you we put need to make you armor here. too. <sighs> Wait. So you just stick it in the block on the side, and then it melts eventually. Um, oh, in the holding spaces? Yes, because have a have a look over here in the actual basin. There is a generic block represented by the ingot. Now, this is an illusion block. Don't try to stand on it. You will fall through okay. and burn. Cool. I think it's done. Okay. Oh, and now there's shadow steel at the bottom. Two of them. Great. Is that where... Does it always go to the, in the bottom? Uh, no. The, not necessarily. Oh. Will it just combine with things if it can? Yes, and I don't know what the preferred order is, but hmm. that's what I was trying to say, is that Shadow Iron only mixes with Lemurite to make Shadow Steel, so there's no risk it'll mix with anything else. Oh, okay. All right, so I can pour it out now. Despite the fact that we've got a million, yes, despite the fact that we've got a million different alloys, nether metals tend not to mix with anything else, with almost without exception. It's time, it's time. <laughs> Time to fill the sword. Wow, toast fills me up more than fish and chips. That's stupid. <laughs> um, okay, so I need to pour out another ingot. Sweet. Because you had another one in there? Mithril sword blade. Is that still in the bottom? Is there still one shadow steel? There should be. Well, can you check I it before know. I go and pour? Maybe either. No, I'm looking at my sweet sword. Um, okay. Okay. I'll check. <laughs> yes, there is one ingot of molten shadow steel at the bottom. Great. I'm going to go pour it and put it on the pedestal. Okay. We're, we're gonna have a real Fort Knox situation in the new place. Weakness two, reinforce two, plus ten attack damage. Ten, huh? Damn. That mithril right, is really gonna get you far. I'm excited. You should be. Oh yeah. That was a satisfying sound. All right, I want to go chop up some bad dudes now. Get some practice here. A couple things. Mm -hmm. One, did you name it? No. Okay, you do get the one chance to name it in the future. You don't have to name I know. it now. I got. I'm. I gotta think about it. Number I might two. I need to, you know, give it, get experience with it. See what um, sort of name it's looking for. Well, that's what number two is about: is the experience. Uh, normally, you have to get the experience to level it up, and levels yeah. up are modifier slots. But I okay. know the combination to unlock free modifier. It's not free, but I can force modif modifier slots to unlock early. Okay. If you decide there's an augmentation you want to give to it. Oh, sweet. Hold on. 
things that you could get to it are lapis will make its looting get higher uh quartz will make the attack higher various <laughs> other attachments will give it things like catching fire oh i gotta go drop these shears off i've been holding on these things forever where are you going me are you hmm? talking to your cat oh yeah sorry she hopped up on my desk and she was licking my arm now so beth <laughs> You have Sorry. got a pick. You have got a weapon. Oh, yeah. I'm out to conquer the world with chocobos. So that's the only thing I see right now. I would Ooh, like I to bone. either go exploring or go look at that underground uh, mine shaft. What are your hmm. thoughts on that? Well, I guess the mine shaft would give me experience with my new pick. Uh, uh, it found... would. Actually, I've, I've unlocked tons of slots. This. A lot of it has been from mining things like coal. I think this is a rat. It's just That's a cobalt. nasty looking. What is it? Cobalt. What? <laughs> cobalt. I don't know what that is. It's German for goblin. You've never heard of a cobalt? It's like D&D &D monster? <laughs> no. I'm not a nerd, jeez. That's a lie. I am a nerd, but I haven't played D&D. &D, so. Yeah, um, a boss version of one of those things took me out early in okay. the series. So, I do want to make you armor. And that, the decision okay. for armor will be a lot easier because I don't have the stats, and I'll just say stuff that's generally higher for tools will probably be higher for armor. A lot of octopuses in here. Hi, Juno. <laughs> so, miss. Hmm? Here's, here's gonna be... You're gonna make another decision about your armor, but it's gonna be a lot more aesthetic related. <laughs> All right then. Because I don't know the stats of these metals. They are a little bit different between them, but they're generally the better, if they're better for tools, generally they're better for armor. But I wanna make you some. Okay. All right, there we go. Brass chest plate. Ooh, Bing. cool. I can't wait Ooh. to see it on you. And with, with the helmet and everything, let me go drop off the silver. Oh yeah, I gotta put on my sweet helmet. Oh yeah, put... I am so silent right now. I can't wait, this I can't wait. Let me see. That's not quite how I envision the armor looking. Where's my, where's my Anubis sweetheart? Wow. I'm standing. How, how do I look? Yeah, with the, the circle thing in the chest, you look like a robot of some, some design. Sweet. Just what I always wanted. I can't, how do I get to see what I look like? in like i can only uh, F, see my front. F5. how do i look at myself like 360 degrees f5 turn F5? 360 and walk away <sighs> yeah oh hey hey here you go All right, so now i can see the back view of me if we're going underground you'll want to need that my best practices for how that thing should be used is if your air quality starts to dwindle, pop that on your face until your air quality instantly replenishes to full. Well, I am... Actually, sure look like you're still trying to figure out how to look? <laughs> okay, L let me give you a quick crash course. Um, hover your mouse over it, and it will tell you the filter percentage. Mm -hmm. Yours is 70-something, okay. mine's 42. That okay. only gets used if you're wearing it and you're in a bad gas pocket. Oh, so okay. if you were standing in the basement right now, those filters would drain pretty rapidly. Hmm. I, I put the thing on and within like six seconds of a very smoky environment, I was already gagging. Wow. So I so, only use it sparingly when, you're, when your air quality starts to really inhibit your vision. Right before like the nausea sets in. Right I just before pop it you on. black out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best practices. Okay. Um... Is there any way to make the basement not, like, toxic to breathe? I don't know. Maybe if we had a couple trees down there. This is a legitimate <laughs> suggestion. Huh, okay. But for now, There's I don't a... know. I guess that's a goblin in our garden jumping around. Bro. Oh, the kobold, yeah. You want to smoke him? I thought it was, like, an upright mouse, actually, at first. It's some kind of that. No, I want to use... Can I use my sword? Yeah, I'm waiting. I, I'm surprised you haven't already. Well, I... Oh, that was quick. Yeah, One they're whack. Not, they're not very strong. 
Okay. Cool. Well, I have race screens now. Cool. Oh shit, there's a creeper. Where? Oh, Coming no. through the pond. Let's just get in the house. Alright, well, I'll go around to the other door. Yeah. I had some nasty times in that door there. You just came through. Yeah. How so? I expect you to be like gross. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking that. Jeez. The zombie was giving me some you real, freak? real ass rash. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one more tool for you that okay. you may enjoy. Uh, what is this? That was a. That was a tool I was considering retiring. Dense and fancy, just like me. <laughs> me IRL. <laughs> <laughs>